Mr. Jensen was a Swedish officer who worked for uh, Leopold II in Congo. He worked as an officer and he was commanded by the King of Sweden to go there. He, had, he was uh, stationed in the Kasai, but he didn't always have luck, like his little kid who died at six months. But he brought back many objects there from, and I bought the wool collection. He was there between 1905 and 1930. But uh, the only fact is that he only brought back around 20 objects. So I would have preferred that he collected more, but it's not what he did. As you can see, there are many Cuba cups, and uh, these are quite fine of quality. Let me take one of them and show you how fine it is. It has a very nice old patina. Or like this cup, which was inspired by the beer cups of Europe. There was also some ivory objects that he brought with him, like this horn, which is on a nouveau piedestal. And they call this abundancy horns. There is also a nice Mwashabu mask, which is for, typically from uh, the Cuba and the little pot. Uh, which has uh, typically carvings on it. And as you can see, here you see him with his wife and his kid. And uh, yeah, he brought back many souvenirs. I have also all the documents about it. Here you see another few shots of me near the river. And here you see uh, like a little uh, divination um, crocodile, which is quite nice and a very nice drum. Look at how finely carved the hands are and it has also a very nice little head at the top. So you see this is the collection. And here you have another Moisha Boom mask which is quite interesting. It's not in mint condition like the metal parts uh, uh, are a little bit. This is in metal and here you can see the very old little beads which are on the top. Then I have also some more ivory that you can see, which is typically colonial ivories, here representing a man and a woman, and also a little uh, music instrument in ivory and uh, in, in skin. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed my little show about it.